On July 29th, 2024, the Department of Energy announced that 180 million barrels have been successfully replenished to the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, the same amount that was released in response to the Russia-Ukraine conflict, and the media hasn't shut up about it since. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at the current state of the Strategic Petroleum Reserve following the latest developments from the Biden administration. I'm Ron Sneller, Registered Financial Consultant and Investment Advisor Representative. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this is helpful for you. Listen, guys, I got a quote here from Jennifer Granholm. She said, quote, from the beginning, this administration has put the economic and energy security of the American people first. This milestone is a proof point that when the Biden-Harris administration makes and implements a plan, we deliver for the American people. Again, that's from U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm. She continued, as promised, we have secured the 180 million barrels back to the Strategic Petroleum Reserve released in response to Putin's war in Ukraine. And we accomplished this while getting a good deal for taxpayers and maintaining the readiness of the world's largest strategic petroleum reserve. This led multiple news outlets to report that the Biden administration has replenished the 180 million barrels of oil it removed from the SPR due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. But what does this really mean? Is the Strategic Petroleum Reserve really back to its pre-Biden levels? We're going to explore the answers today through three insightful charts. Let's check this out. But first, before we get rolling, I, I do want to thank our friends over at First Trust Advisors LP in putting this information together for us to share here with you. For more information or to access more of their research, which I highly recommend, um, you should look up and follow Brian S. Westbury, Chief Economist at First Trust, and also Robert Stein, Deputy Chief Economy, uh, Deputy Chief Economist over at First Trust. All right, let's take a look at this first chart here, guys. As of August 2nd, 2024, the SPR held 375.8 million barrels, marking an 8.4% increase from the low of 346.8 million barrels recorded on July 7th, 2023. However, this figure still represents a significant 41.1% decrease from the 638.1 million barrels in reserve when President Biden took office. So where is this 180 million barrel replenishment that the administration claims? Well, the answer lies in the details. To date, the administration claims to have purchased approximately 43 million barrels of oil for replenishment. So where are the remaining 140 million barrels that the administration is not citing? It's clear that they are not in the SPR. Legislation passed by Congress in recent years mandated the sale of 147 million barrels of oil from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve during the fiscal years 2024 to 2027 to generate revenue for debt reduction, infrastructure, and other priorities. However, the Department of Energy recently requested that Congress pause or cancel most of these scheduled SPR sales. This request was granted through the 2023 Omnibus Spending Bill, which cancels all but 7 million barrels of the planned sales between 2024 and 2027. So here's what's actually happening, guys. The Department of Energy is counting the cancellation of these sales, approximately 140 million barrels, they're counting that as part of its claim to have secured 180 million barrels for the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. When combined with the 40 million barrels that the Department of Energy has actually purchased, there you have it. Now we arrive at the 180 million barrel figure. On to chart number three. In 1983, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve held an average of 379 million barrels, equating to back then it was an 88-day supply based on the U.S. net petroleum imports at that time. Today, however, the U.S. has shifted from being a net importer to a net exporter, making the calculation of days of supply less straightforward. Now, among the 31 member nations of the International Energy Agency, the U.S. is now one of only four that operate as a next exporter. The Department of Energy's recent statements about replenishing the reserve are at best misleading. While the SPR remains a critical safeguard, its role has evolved, 
luckily no longer as crucial as before, as the dynamics of the U.S. energy landscape have changed. This shift, however, does not justify the government's misuse or mismanagement of this vital resource or the way they manipulate data and push it out to potential voters. As a standard disclaimer, this video has been for educational purposes only and is not financial or investment advice. If you would like professional assistance with the management of your portfolio or your retirement income planning during these trying times, you can connect with us through our website at snellerfinancial.com or through any of our social media channels. I've been in this business for more than 10 years and have happy clients in 47 states. You can use the link below to book a free consult to learn how I can help you. This has been another episode, and I hope you found it valuable and informative. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.